In this particular video, I am going to explain you how can we write algorithm to find length of a string. And the motivation behind writing this algorithm is to explain you how can we use array and while control structure in an algorithm. So let's start writing algorithm. So obviously we all know that first of all we you know start writing the algorithm with start keyword. So here it is. So I'm starting it. So this is my step one where I'll write this start and the next step I will declare the array. So I'm taking like this declare and the name of my array is what this a. So after that I'll put this square bracket where I'll write this l dot dot u. Now here the meaning of this l is lower bound. This is all about lower bound bound means the low index and the meaning of u you can say is my upper bound. So it means that you can also write this to a 1 to n. That's up to you which kind of uh, you can say declaration you want to have. So I'm just taking this l dash u and then I'm taking this l for finding the length and also i as counter. And then in the next step, I am taking this step 3 where I will write or initialize this L to 0 so that it will count the length properly. In the next step now, I will accept a string in array. So I will simply write step 4 where I will write read string A. And now in the next step, we will count total number of characters in array A. So I will simply use while loop for this. So I am just writing here step number 5. So take this while loop and run this loop until this array becomes to null. So I can simply write while A and to get the position or index, I am taking this L and is not equal to my null. So this is how we can set the condition now. You can write do over here if you like, uh, but it is not needed. And in the next step, now I will increment the value of L. So I will simply write increment L. This is equal to obviously L equal to L plus 1. That also you can write here, but I am just writing this increment L. And this is how my while loop will run. So now I will stop this loop. So I can simply write and while and now once this while loop will be stopped, I will get the length. So simply at step 7, I will print L. So I am just taking this L and that's it. And after that, I will simply stop my algorithm. So I hope now you will be able to understand, you know, how can we write algorithm using this array and also while. So that's it for this session guys or we will talk about some another example in the next session. Till then bye bye take care take care of your family and yourself. Thank you.